Alright guys, these are some of my Holstein steers. I just fed them. I'm not sure what they weigh. I got a scale right here that I made. I bought the kit online. It's pretty cheap. It's just kind of rigged up. About three weeks ago, I weighed 400 pounds. So, Let's see what kind of gain they've gained on this. I'm gonna give them eight pounds of grain. Might seem like a lot, but I need them to gain. Raising these steers can be profitable. It's um, more work than the Angus, but if you like doing it, it's worth it. Um, I bought all these. They were bottle calves. I bought them in October. They're kind of a small, small frame, small medium frame. Uh, it, it can be profitable if you could find a dairy to get them from directly, but I can't. I think there used to be 180 dairies in this county in 1980. I think there's like 12 now. Most of everybody's got contracts on all those bull calves come off those dairies. Uh, I get these from a guy. Uh, I pretty much tell him I want 20 or I want 30 bottle calves and he gets them for me. He's kind of an order buyer. But this might seem strange, but he gets them from a guy. I don't know where he gets them. I do, I do know they come from Buffalo, New York. They're a long way from home. But they're about seven days old when I get them. Seven to fourteen. Uh, I get them started on a bucket. Um, I give them, I vaccinate them give them vitamin shots and uh, I keep them on milk for about five weeks or until they're eating about two pounds of starter and then uh, I wean them off milk and raise them from there your uh, your prices your what you put into them are almost you know if you can get your feed cheap enough everything's kind of fixed and as long as the price stays the same you're going to make about the same on them every year, it seems like. As long as you don't lose any. <clears throat> I didn't implant, I didn't implant these calves. Um, I probably should have. The group that you've seen in the barn the main farm have been implanted and those are uh, I paid a little more for those calves they're bigger bigger frame and uh, they're about three months behind these or maybe two months two to three months behind these and uh, they're catching up with them so that's uh, if you can save two months worth of feed and sell the same size calf that's pretty profitable but, uh, I've been raising these since 2011 I think I've had Holstein on the farm I usually like to start them in the winter time that way we can turn them out to grass in the summer, spring, summer. I 
I might be, um, I usually like to get them to 750 to 800 pounds. But, um, I might be getting rid of these a little early. I don't have the room. If this deal works out, I can get another group of calves for this particular price. I'm going to let these go. And, uh, Get these other ones in here and take those out of the barn and bring them over here and get them started on grain. Like I said, we lease this farm. Um, I uh, I lease this pasture from my dad. These barns, because he's after the crops and I'm after the livestock facility. So. I guess I need to do a video on the on the hogs. I haven't done any videos on them. Now, there's a lot of different things to do with the hog operation. It keeps you busy. But, uh, anyway, here's a little update from the steers, Holstein steers, and uh, I'll uh, post another video later. Thanks for watching.